Ju Jun's story of how she became a parasite is actually crazy. Absolutely insane. The fact that she got stabbed over meat. <laughs> I was just like, what, what is happening? By the way, can we actually talk about Heidi, the parasite that crawled into Su Jin and bonded with her? So initially, the parasite takes over the whole host's body by eating their brains and then taking control of the body. But because Su Jin was injured when they bonded together, Heidi could only take half control of Su Jin. And Heidi's objective is to keep her and Su Jin alive no matter what. So she fights like her life depends on it. So anytime Sujin is in danger, Heidi comes out only for a few minutes though. And it's one of the best like tag teams of an alien slash parasite slash human relationship I've ever seen. Like I was a fan of it from the get go. Loved it. Now this character, if we're going to talk about someone that's been through the ringer, from his gang to his sisters, his older and younger sisters, to his best friend. Guys, when he was trying to save his friend, I was so sad for him. So, so sad for him. Like, no. I felt everything. And when he was like about to check it out and be like, I'm not a part of this anymore. I was like, I understand. But you've already gotten so far. Why would you chicken out now? But... He came back, he did what he needed to do, and I just don't want to give away too much, but I'll let you know, this man is entertaining as heck, and I'm just so glad he was part of Sujin's journey because he kept it funny. Like, comedy 101. She still loved her husband as much as she was using him or treating him like dirt, she still loved him. Because in that episode where she found him, you know, you, you know what I'm talking about, when she had tears in her eyes, I felt so sad for her. At the same time, she was annoying me because she kept on going off to Su Jin. And I'm like, she's one of the good people. Let her go. There are other parasites doing worse things. But she was just like a dog with a bone. Like, she just had to get her. It was like a love-hate relationship. If you've watched, you know what I'm talking about. I loved her, but I disliked her. Now, this character, episode four, will forever haunt me. Because what they did was not okay when i tell you i was all up in my feels i was all up in my feels and i'm just gonna leave it like that now one thing that did take me by surprise about the show itself was the cgi because when they transforming it's done beautifully there was never a moment where i was like oh i see a glitch or mm, that doesn't look realistic when i tell you korea put their foot on the cgi they really really put their foot on it one thing I will say that I didn't understand was the origin of the parasites. Like, that's one thing I wish they touched on a little bit because I didn't know who created them, where they came from. Um, they did say the main objectives of the parasites was to, you know, find a host, eat their brains and take control over the human. But other than that, what, what's their mission statement? Apart from that one parasite that was just going rogue and killing humans and parasites just to get to his agenda that was wild by the way i was just like what if you can't procreate and the parasites you have the parasites you have what do you plan on doing <laughs> like what's the end goal here definitely 10 out of 10 recommend if all the k dramas are like this i need a list of shows to watch all my experts all my k drama lovers Pull through in the comments and let me know what else I should check out.